what was that aha moment, as I like to call it, that, you know, solidified this life path or life journey for you? I know what mine was that, you know, made me leave a career to do this. For um, the aha moment. I don't know. I think. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I think the Whenever I was cooking at Riverhouse, um, because that was the first time that I'd actually gotten onto the culinary or back of the house side of the restaurant, right. I was learning about before then. Um, I walked in off the street with little to no experience uh, in the kitchen, and um, within a matter of weeks, I was a line lead. So I attribute that more to the uh, leadership that I learned in the military than anything else, because I really still didn't know how to cook. But uh, one of the things that I will give John credit for is that he kind of gave us uh, carte blanche to, to learn and to do uh, as long as we weren't wasting too much product and, and costing too much money. Uh, he kind of gave us that creativity to, you know, uh, go and try things. So I think at the time, I really wanted to be a sous chef. I really wanted to advance myself in the culinary field. So I worked really hard, um, studied, studied. Uh, you know, I never went to school for this. I was, uh, I'm, I'm what you call an apprentice uh, chef. Uh, so I learned through the ranks at the, at the at, at restaurants. And so I was in there with a bunch of kids that were graduating from college and culinary degree was their bill. So, you know, you put me versus them, um, you know, there shouldn't have been any reason that I, I stood out. But uh, one thing that I had over a lot of those guys, not all of them, was a, was a hard work ethic that was instilled in me at a young age. So um, I may not have known it by the book, but I would practice it or I would go home and I would research it. I would read on it until I got it right. So uh, I think that that's done, a, that's helped me uh, along the way. And, um, you know, I remember one night, I guess, you know, getting back to the question at hand, that aha moment was, uh, I was a, uh, Two chef at River House, but John needed some help at Veronese. I'd never been to Veronese before, um, so I had no clue what I was walking into. I think it was a day off, and uh, he sent out an APB text, you know, for some help. And so I just was like, you know, I'm not doing anything. And stepped up, went over there, and worked it. And um, they put me on the grill, and their grill was literally a third of the size of the one that I had at, at River House, you know, because we got all the latest and greatest equipment there. And so I walked in there, not really knowing what to expect. And we had a huge party and they all wanted steaks. And I started looking at my little grill and I was like, there's no way I can do this. Um, I was tossing <laughs> stuff on the fly in that moment and we made it through that service. And for a smaller kitchen, they pumped out a lot of great, delicious food. Great. So I think at the end of that shift, I, um, I felt like, okay, if I can do it here, I can do it anywhere. And so that was kind of the aha moment that I had was, you know, you can do this. This is something that you are capable of. It's not just the toys that you have or that you have access to a river house that make you what you are. You can literally walk into any kitchen and hold your own um, in, in any place. So 